Sports Nickelodeon's helpful hint for the practical joker. We'll be giving away great prizes. Just send a postcard with your name, address, age, and phone number to Nickelodeon's helpful hints for practical jokers. JAF 2450, New York, New York, 10116. For a chance to be a grand prize winner, to receive one of 25 slip and slides, or one of 75 second prize winners, to receive Frisbee Rip Stinger Discs. But beware, the next practical joke could be on you. It's helpful hints for the practical joker. Brought to you by Whammo on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, the first kids' network, presents A Walk in the Park. Grandpa, what was it like when you were a kid? Well... I mean, what'd you do for fun? Mostly we read books, sang songs, and ate bugs. You didn't have Nickelodeon? We had each other. Wait, no Double Dare? No Finders Keepers? No Duckula? Sometimes we'd whack the dog or spit goobers in the sink. Fun. It wasn't so bad. Grandpa, you eat bugs. Nickelodeon. The first kids' network. The little koala will be happy to see you. Mommy's making a eucalyptus cake, and it should be ready by now. Every Thursday and Friday at 11.30, 10.30 Central on Nick Jr. Down in Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. I love Fraggle Rock. Chris, why don't you read something? Do I have to? Well, dinner's not ready for an hour. But the Fraggles are really fun. Center of the now reading can be as enjoyable as watching Fraggle Rock on TV with a new Fraggle Rock Club. Jim Henson's family of Muppets make reading fun for your three to seven year old. Call now and get What's a Fraggle? Ninety nine per book. You can cancel after four more shipments. But Fraggles love to read. Here he's finally found books he really likes. Discovering the Fraggle Rock Club is a terrific idea. With free gifts, it pays to join the Fraggle Rock Club. Call this toll free number now. Introducing Pulpeat, the amazing new food storage system with an incredible accordion construction that actually expands and collapses. You create the size you need. Collapse the container to fit the food to save the space. Only one glass left? Put it in Pulpeat and look at the difference. Do your cabinets look like this? With Pulpeat, you'll save so much space it's like having an extra cabinet in your kitchen. Complete with airtight lids to keep food its absolute freshest, they're dishwasher safe and microwave safe. You'll get three quart-size Popeat, three quart-and-a-half-size pieces, three half-gallon pieces, and the giant half-gallon bottle that collapses this small for easy travel. Nine containers, the bottle, lids, 20 pieces in all, $19.95. Here's how to order. Credit card users call toll-free 1-800-642-4000. That's 1-800-642-4000. Or spend $19.95 plus $3 shipping to Popeat, Box 1199, Scarsdale, New York, 10583. Or call 1-800-642-4000. Wow! This is the biggest mountain I've ever built! <laughs> now I can really play mountain climber with Fritz the Mountain Climber! Are you ready to go, Fritz? Goody. Here's Fritz the mountain climber climbing the biggest mountain in the whole world. <laughs> Come on, Fritz. Climb. 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 Uh, Midas, dear. Midas, can you give me a hand with something? Oh. Minus. Hi, Aurelia. Minus. Minus, what have you done? Well, I can hardly believe it myself. Well, it, it, is, it is rather unbelievable. Uh, I better help you with this. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Gee. On, I didn't realize where you would be that interested. <laughs> well, of course I'm interested, dear. I'm interested in anything that you do. Now, let's see. I can put this on the shelf over there, and then that can go back in the toy chest. Minus, but, where's the toy chest? Wait a minute. Aurelia, I, I thought you said you were going to help me, but you're just messing things up. I mess it up? Yeah. But uh, it's already a mess. I was going to help you clean it up. We're going to be cleaning for hours, it looks like. Now, let's see. I can uh, put this... In the closet. This isn't a mess. This is a mountain. And that's a trolley car that goes up and down the mountain. Hmm. Mountain? Yeah. What mountain? This mountain here. I piled all this stuff up to make the biggest mountain in the whole world. <laughs> so Fritz, the mountain climber, could climb the mountain. Oh, I see. Yeah, and that's the trolley car. 
And um, the box there, that's where um, Fritz the mountain climber is going to stop for lunch on the way up the mountain. I <laughs> see. And uh, Minus? Yes? What's, uh, what's this? Well, that's a goat. Goats like to walk around on the mountain. I see. Well, Midas, you seem to have thought of everything. Yeah. <laughs> and Aurelia, mm -hmm. when I'm done, I'm going to put everything back where it belongs. Now, can I have my trolley car back? Oh, certainly, dear. Mm -hmm. here, here you are. Thank you. <laughs> Aurelia, do you still want to help? Well, certainly, Midas, dear. I said I was interested in everything that you do, and this is something that you do now. How can I help? Well, could you put this flag at the top of the mountain? It's... It's so big, I can't reach the top. Oh, sure, yes. <laughs> go. Put that right up here, like so. Wow! Yeah, how's that? That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, now you can be the goat. The goat? Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fritz, Aurelia's yes. going to play the goat. Yeah. Hello, goat. Which way to the top of the mountain? No! No! Did you hear that, Fritz? This way! <laughs> Thank you, goat. Would you like to join us? Well, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, nah, nah. <laughs> Here we go. Up the side of the mountain we go. Nah. Come on, Fritz. Nah. Come on, Mr. Goat.
person who eats a whole horse for breakfast. You really want to know? Yeah, yeah. You call him Big Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And now he wants to do the same thing to Nicotine. Quick, then. We've got to stop him. One, two, three! There. I have finished my horse. Now, let's see. What will I call him? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see him here now. Rosadante. That's it. Rosadante. I'll jump into the saddle. Why, Mr. Dougal, why is this? A heap of scrap iron? Call me Knight Don Quixote. And this is not a heap of scrap iron. This is my horse. But your horse can't walk. First of all, I name you my squire. Wow. And now thou art called... Uh, let me see my book. Sancho Panza. Oh, this being and vowing bothers me a little bit. Come, my faithful companion. Let's go defend the woman and the orphan. What is this? Oh, the ghost! Help! Help! Dost thou hear, Sancho Panza? Of course. Mm. It can't be her. My book. Oh, that's it. It is Dulcinea of Tabasco. Charge! Oh, please, don't hurt me, Mr. Goose. Doest thou not fear, Dulcinea? I am here. Is that you, Mr. Dougal? 
Yes, it's me, it's me. I am Don Quixote. And here is my squire, Sancho Panza. Here. You? But tell me, is he crazy or what? Who, who knows? Dulcinea of Tabasco. Who is this person? Oh, you shouldn't contradict Mr. Dougal. From this day on, I shall defend thee against all. Mr. Dougal. Knight Don Quixote. Oh, oh, good, good. Knight Duxote! Sancho Panza, let us go and fight my Dulcinea's enemies. Let's move! Stop, squire! Seest thou there who is challenging me to a duel? I don't see, I don't see anything. Only, only a windmill. Onward! Dougal! Hello, Ermintrude. Call me Ermintrude of Tabasco, please. I am Ermintrude of Tabasco. Well, I never. On guard, vile rascal. Take that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, no! Help, help! Let me go! Let me out of here! Dougal! Oh, don't look, Miss Florence. Oh, 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 oh! Did you hurt yourself? You wouldn't have a little treat to comfort me with, would you? No, but I brought you a book. Look. I don't feel very much like reading right now. Look, Doc Sauté, what your ermine truth of Tabasco is bringing you. What? A treat? It's wonderful. Reading feeds its dog. Oh, come, Ermintrude. I shall read you Florence's book, The Sleeping Beauty. Here I am. Here we go all over again. It takes no. a lot of practice, yeah. but I think you'll have fun. Yeah, well, it yeah. looks like a real fun game. Robert, Lulu, yeah. unfortunately, though, I, I have to write a very important story for the Daily Noodle. Oh, oh. an important story. Mm -hmm. It sounds important. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. Very important. You see, I'm going to write a story about people's favorite words. Uh -huh. Now, Herbert, first I would like to find out what... What is your favorite word? Oh, that's an easy one, Mr. Smitty. Mm -hmm. My favorite word is... Lulu. Oh. <laughs> Lulu. I just love to say Lulu. Lulu, 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 Lulu. <laughs> well, Herbert's favorite word is Lulu. Lulu. Now then, Lulu, what's, uh, what's your favorite word? Oh, um, I have to think about that for a minute. All right. Hmm. She's going to say Herbert. You think so? <laughs> I know. My favorite word is... Here it comes. <laughs> belly button. Ta-da! Belly. Yeah. <laughs> belly button. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Herbert's favorite word is Lulu, and Lulu's favorite word is belly button. Belly button. Well, thank you both very much. Bye now. Okay. Bye. Belly button. Belly button. But, 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 but how come belly button is your favorite word? My name is Herbert, not belly button. I know that, but it just happens to be my favorite word. But, Lulu, my favorite word is Lulu. But belly button makes me laugh. <laughs> then I guess I don't mean anything to you. No. Belly button's my favorite word, but you're my favorite person. You're my belly button, you're true blue eyes to the end. You're my brother. I'm as glad as can be whenever you are with me. You're my brother. You've got the cutest little face. <laughs> you're my favorite person. Yeah. My couple of I'm so glad to be part of. Yeah. You always help me along, and you're so big and so strong. You're my brother. I can lift a million pounds. And when we fight, when we fight, it always turns out all right. Cause you're my brother. I never fight. You always help me when I'm counting. One, one, two, three. <laughs> you're the only brother in the world for me. Well, that's good, because you're my favorite sister, too, you see. So I'll be your brother, and you'll be my sister. You make me jump up and sing. It's such a wonderful thing. You're my brother. I'm your brother. I'm the sister who knows that wherever she goes, she has a brother. That's me, yeah. So please believe me when I say that my favorite you'll always be. I'm so glad to have a brother like you for No other brother will do for For the only brother in the world For me Sing it For me Tell it For me For who? For me <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Lolita, and my mommy just had a baby. Now I'm not the baby anymore. My brother Aaron was the baby before I came, and my sister Aisha was all by herself before my brother came. My new sister's name is Hadia. That means a gift. My mommy and daddy said that we're the best gifts they ever had. I help my mommy take care of the baby. I'm a big girl. My big sister, Aisha, can change her dear's diaper. Erin tells her dear stories about kings and queens in a beautiful land. I sing songs for her dear. Sometimes she sings with me. Ring around the rosy, pocky full of posy, hands up, hands up, we all fall down. Mommy and Daddy said they're proud of us for being so helpful with our new little gift. But sometimes I miss sitting in my mommy's lap. I don't sit in mommy's lap as much as I used to because Hadia needs to sit there more than I do. After all, she is a baby. So now I sit in Daddy's lap and he tells me stories just like the ones Aaron tells Hadia. And then I sing for Dad, just like I sing for Hadia. And sometimes Dad sings with me. A few times, Mommy let Hadia sit in my lap. My lap is not as big as Mommy's. So, Hadia can't stay there very long. I can feed myself, but Mommy feeds Hadia. My little sister Hadia has so much to learn. Since I'm her big sister, I guess it's up to me to teach her. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Roll a roll a roll a man, put it in the pan. 
put it in the oven and bake a cake for me and my mom. Well, it's starting to get dark. So now, I am going to go home. My house is over the mountain. There, see? Right there. There's my family. There's my schnoodle daddy. He's my daddy. And there's my schnoodle mommy. She's my... Oh, you know. And there's my sister, Schnoodle Susie. And there's my Schnoodle Pony. This is our Schnoodle house. Isn't it pretty? Day when the sun comes up, my Schnoodle Daddy goes to work. He takes his long stick and goes out to the river where he pulls people out of the water. But hardly anybody ever falls into the water. Wait a minute. Today, Schnoodle Daddy sees a duck in the river. He tries to pull her out. Oh, but then he falls in and the duck has to pull him out. I'm sorry. I forgot the ducks could swim. I'll remember that from now on. Uh, sorry. But now Schnoodle Daddy found something good. A honey bucket. For honey. I'll take this home to the Schnoodle Pony. <laughs> that smells delicious. Thank you so much, Schnoodle Daddy. <laughs> mm, how nice. The pony runs and plays with the bucket in the field. And when it rains, it's a hat. And when it's evening, she sleeps in it to dream sweet dreams. Good night, Schnoodle Pony. Good night, Schnoodle. Did you ever dream that you were a frisky little pony? Romping and a stomping in a field. As your day begins, you could stand and sip the wind. Or take time out to eat your favorite meal. Watching Nickelodeon. Now back to Pinwheel.
my duck collection and I've said everything that I want to say to my wee yes yes good ah, well now it's time to relax and listen to my favorite favorite thing on the radio yeah it's over here right. Listen to that wonderful, crackly, buzzy, fuzzy sound. Yes, yes. Come here, come here, we don't know. This is a real treat. Oh, God. Oh, no. What is that terrible, horrible, ear-splitting, noisy sound? This is my favorite part when it goes pop, crackle, fizz. Oh, no. I can't take it anymore, Ebenezer. All this noise. There. Oh. My static! My beautiful static! You turned off my static! Well, you know, there I was, down in my little parlor, dusting the dust off my dirt walls, when all of a sudden, my tiny underground parlor started shaking and rumbling around all to the hissing of this terrible static. Terrible? Yes. Listen, Mo, static is one of my favorite sounds. Besides, this is my basement, and no one's going to stop me from listening to static in my own home. Ebenezer, my parlor is right down below, and that static is driving me nuts. Maybe there's something on the radio we can both like. I doubt it. Let's see. <laughs> It's not static. My weeds like static. Sorry, guys. Listen to the flute, like birds fluttering in the air. just have to listen, Ab. Oh, I'm so glad I can share my love of music with a good friend like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 now it's my turn. My turn to share my love of static with you. Oh. You want it? Oh. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Now, oh, come on. I listen to your music. It's only fair you listen to my static. Okay. So that's yeah. That fizzle, dropple, flip, flip. Sounds just like a stormy day. Oh. You like stormy days. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, and, and hear that, that croak, yip, blurp. Sounds like a big green frog. It does. I like frogs, too. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to this, Molly. Fizzle, nubble, crackle, rubble, poppity pop, fizzle. Oh, it sounds like lettuce sizzling on the grill. Lettuce? With popcorn popping, too. <sighs> I never heard such delicious sounds in static before. Well, see, you just have to listen. Mm. I'm always glad to share my love of static. <gasps> listen. That's a new one. It sounds just like root tea bubbling away in the pot. 
Han kastar på kanten till Benno, fintar den österrikare, spelar bra till Benno. Benno stoppar bollen, går förbi österrikaren, stannar här, fram till Kindvall som är fri i liten vinkel och skjuter utanför. Om Kindvall hade sett inåt så hade han upptäckt en lille Sandberg som i vanlig ordning fanns i position. Kindvall nattar åt bollen till Sandberg på vänsterkanten, Sandberg långt in för Edström. Edström nickar bakåt till Gran, in till Nordqvist och nu har nu Nordqvist fram på högerkanten till Gran. Skottläget strax utanför Stefan och där kommer skottet ett bra skott strax utanför. Sandberg i vänster upp till position. Sandberg står i långbord. Där är Edström som släpper förbi sig. Det är Benno Magnusson. Benno bakåt till Sandberg. Sandberg på vänsterkanten. Tre svenska mot fem österrikare. Sandberg står in bollen snett bakåt. Där är Edström och där är Kindvall. Och så är Sandberg och skjuter i mål! Boys bring it down, throw it back down, Connors take it to the Orion! Det 
day. What a busy, busy day. <sighs> I posed for one of Kim's paintings. I helped Jake plant some new tomato seeds out in the garden. <laughs> I played gotcha last with plus and minus. <laughs> Those boys sure made me run. <sighs> but it's wonderful just to sit here in my favorite chair and just relax. I really do love all the folks of Pinwheel House, but sometimes it's lovely just to sit quietly and relax. You're supposed to be in bed. I know, but but you promised you'd come up and read us a story for bedtime. Oh. I've been waiting. I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. You sure did. <gasps> mind us, darling, would you mind very much if we skipped the story tonight? I'm so tired. I haven't been off my feet all day. <sighs> but you promised. I mean, like, you promised that we can't go to sleep without a story. Please tell us a story. Well, oh, mind us, darling, you know I always try to keep my promises to you, and plus, but yeah. I've been so tired, I don't think I can climb all the way up to your bedroom. Oh, 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 I'll help. I can help you. Get up here. Come on, here we go. Oh, Amelia, you, you gotta help. <sighs> mind us, I would love to read to you and plus, but every muscle in my body is, is falling off. Oh, asleep. I'm, I'm sure you'll understand. Oh. Here, Amelia's yeah. falling asleep. Boy, I never thought I'd see the day when she'd break a promise. Aurelia really did look kind of tired, though. I can't understand it. All she did was play Got You Last all morning and cook our meals and she took a splinter out of my toe and she went for a walk with us in the park like she promised. <laughs> Not fair sleeping in the chair. Aurelia, you keep lots of promises. I didn't really feel gypped. In fact, I think it's my turn to tell you a bedtime story. Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess by the name of Aurelia. <laughs> princess Aurelia lived in a castle called Pinwheel Castle. And she always helped everybody. And she helped, and she helped, and she helped. <laughs> Until she got very, very tired and fell asleep in the royal throne. Then a prince rode up on his horse. His name was Prince Minus. That's me. <laughs> and uh, Prince Minus gave Princess Aurelia a good night kiss. <sighs> good night, Princess Aurelia. <sighs> good night, Prince Minus. Wow, she called me Prince Minus. <laughs> Prince Minus, can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs>